It's classic review time here on Rauta. So October 2019 is done, but there is one interesting reissue which I want to talk to you about. And this one is from Finland, a band called B Hexen and the album called By the Blessing of Satan. I originally got to uh, listen to this as early as somewhere 2004 and uh, I did a written review of this album back then. Released on Woodcut Records back then and now reissued by Woodcut Records. This one is one of those Finnish black metal albums that I guess could be called like modern classics. So hence it has totally deserved its place right here. Let's just remove the contents to get a little bit of glimpse on this uh, booklet and the images on this album. Um, since I want to make these classic reviews a little bit more in depth than just your average one, let's focus on the cover first. As you can see, this is the uh, earlier original cover and to be honest, it doesn't look that pretty nowadays. It is kind of a uh, make your friend or do to yourself kind of a cover image having this kind of a satanic bishop with corpse paints and uh, inverted symbols to kind of get you the message clear. This is all about Satan and anti-Christianity. This cover is not very good looking in my opinion, but I mean, I guess it just delivers the message and I guess that's what counts the most. Uh, on the backside of this uh, layout, um, booklet. Uh, we have obviously a couple of uh, inverted crosses, more than just two if you can count, as well as the logo and then some old English font type of letters to just give you an indication what kind of uh, track list this one has. As you can see some of those are, or most of them are in English, but there's track number three which is Sielu ni saatanan vihasta roihuten, which is kind of like uh, my soul is in flames, by Satan's Wrath, or something in that direction anyway. Here are uh, the original members. As you can uh, imagine, the band was formed already in early 90s. Later on, using the word uh, or name B. Hexen, they originally used under or used a different moniker. And here are some of those lyrics as well which are, then again, very satanic, very anti-Christian once again, and all about uh, glorifying Satan. And some older members, which are not present in the band anymore, including, including Mr. Railroth here. So two of these five members were the original ones and are still the main members, Torog, uh, for vocals and lyrics and then horns for drums and the rest of the guys have pretty much changed throughout the years. So what makes this Behexen, which is Finnish black metal, as it says here, Suomalaista black metal, which is Finnish black metal, what makes this so interesting is that it's very very traditional second wave black metal, fast tempo, beating, great riffing, somewhat melodic here and there, but all the way very energetic, even violent, and right in your face. Uh, one could even say this is kind of a Finnish version of what Dark Funeral, Marduk, and the like did earlier on in Sweden. So kind of a something that you probably already know. Similar bands, similar kind of riffs, and this all-around dark, black atmosphere. But not in the way of, you know, going to this kind of a nature-oriented atmospheric uh, riffing or songwriting, but more like just this energy, black energy that is kind of a consuming the listener while listening also these so-called incantations, lyrics, vocals, uh, just which are screamed upon you. And that is what makes BXN so strong. I mean... There are no weak links, even if there are no memorable, like, single tracks, which are like, hey, I prefer this one. This is all the way that 47 minutes with no gimmicks, no bullshit, no extra curricular activities, just kind of a black metal 
in the way it was supposed to be, at least in the 90s. Of course, since these days when this uh, album was created, many things have changed. Even black metal seems to follow certain trends and uh, such bands kind of uh, evolve or progress or go to places which are not of today's music or music of yesterday, rather. But given that this was created early 2000s, uh, I think it's very, very vital records still to this day. Every song on this album holds its place. It, there are no songs that feel like, hey, this could have been removed or why this was included on this release. But they aren't there to just, you know, deliver the message of Satan. Now, I get that most people around the world, even in the metal scene, even in black metal scene, might not feel these lyrics so relatable, because they are very much just kind of uh, telling you about the devotion to Satan, being the fist against Christian uh, faith, against Jesus, against God, against those kind of values and whatnot. But B. Hexen has always been about this. I mean, it's a satanic band in the first place. They are not apologetic about their occult interest and how they perceive Satan and all that stuff. Now, they are not also very keen to that much kind of explain their message or how they feel about that. At least certain uh, interviews, for example, Rauta is not something that they would find, you know, comfortable to do. So, I mean... It's kind of a tricky thing because you have to have the certain mindset to fully immerse yourself in the music of Behexen. For me, example, I mean, I'm kind of a agnostic, sort of an atheist person. And for me, I don't find these lyrics very really relatable. But I don't find it problematic either because I think what Behexen is doing is just their vision. And I can choose whether or not to respect that. And uh, I don't find it... I mean, it doesn't bother me, even though I don't find those lyrics something that I could see myself repeating to my friends or singing out loud at concerts. I mean, I can totally enjoy the sheer darkness and the, and the Christian message here. So for me, B. Hexen works, even though I don't consider myself a religious person at all. But the music is what counts the most, in my opinion. And I think, by the blessing of Satan, I think B. Hexen really nailed it. To create this 1990s second wave black metal, still in early 2000s, and pointing out that it's relevant and it's of good quality. Uh, and by no means in comparison to later B. Hexen albums, this has nothing to shame. I mean, it's a very, very good album in so many ways. And it's something that, I, in my opinion, is very true to the whole black metal scene. There are lots of bands that go exploring too much, in my opinion, and get kind of lost in the woods, if you know what I mean. And uh, B. Hexen is right there. It's kind of like this temple of Satan. It's very much in place, and it's up to you whether or not you're going to step inside. Whether or not these ideas or their opinions and lyrics are going to open up to you, in a way that you can go, like, oh, okay, I got kind of the point. I mean, nobody can decide it for you except for yourself. And as such, I think it, BX and kind of nails it with this field as well. They are not apologetic. They are not explaining too much. They are what they are, both good and bad. And that, my friends, it is how it should be. Thank you for watching this classic review. Should you have any comments, opinions, whatever... Feel free to put the comment on the box below and I'll get back to you. Until next review, bye bye.